How's it going? Um, welcome in. I'm drinking some leftover um, middle of the road Mexican beer. You're welcome to help yourself. Um, I was away again. I had to play host. Took a little trip up to Las Vegas. That was um, exhausting. Now I'm trying to get caught up. So this is going to be mainly just a BCLT, an anonymous BCLT um, opening, unboxing. The uh, anonymous individual who sent this to me requested that it be um, opened in a video. I do have uh, three other things I'm going to start with. Um, yeah, so this is going to be more of a train wreck than normal, but we're going to go because that's what we do. Um, this is something that I picked up used it's from 2006. It's 2006 release, 2005 or 2006. It's um, it's a collaboration between the post rock band Tortoise and I guess what you would call the indie folk artist Bonnie Prince Billy or Will Oldham, or he's also gone by like uh, previously Palace Palace Music Palace Brothers. And then there's some other names. Also, he, he did put out some stuff as just Will Oldham. Anyway, this is a collaboration between them from 2006. It's called The Brave and the Bold. Came out on Overcoat Recordings. Found this used. It is an album of covers. It's 10 cover signs. It's a really un strange mix of, of choices or a mix of artists. You have everything from Lungfish to Bruce Springsteen, Elton John, um, Devo. It's an odd array of songs. They kind of, you know, do their interpretation, make them their own. Uh, it doesn't really sound like a Tortoise record. It doesn't really sound like a My Prince Billy record. Um, the song Poncho has Sally Timms from the Mekons. Is that a Don Williams song or something? Or maybe it's a different one. But anyway, um, I listened to this a lot when it came out. It's not highly regarded. It's probably not an essential record. It's just not something you see very often being a 2006 release. Tortoise and Bonnie Prince Billy, The Brave and the Bold. Did I say that? 2006. Next two are reissues that were put out this year. These are band reissues from, from the band Stereo Lab. This is their, first one is their second studio album, which came out in 1993. It's called Transient Random Noise Bursts with Announcements. So they are doing um, the band, I guess with Tim, Tim Gain is overseeing these reissues. They're done from the original tapes, analog tapes, and they sound excellent. At least these two that I'm gonna show, they sound excellent. Um, they started last year doing some of their doing these for some of their compilations and also their debut LP called Peng. <clears throat> it's actually a triple LP. This one is a limited edition numbered clear vinyl. You know what clear looks like, right? Um, it comes with a poster, comes with a scratch card. You can win a 12 inch if you scratch the card. I guess I'll take it out. Um, if it comes out, yeah. There's like a scratch card. I don't think I'm gonna do it. But if you get 
apparently if all of these are cliffs, you win a 12 inch record. I think that these sound excellent. Again, I do not love the packaging. They, as you saw, it's like a, it's like a unipack with three records in here. They come in nice polyline sleeves, but um, I'm not in love with the packaging. And they also come in these nice, um, kind of nice, uh, you know, not clear plastic. This one is numbered 218, apparently out of 2000 or possibly This is really bad. <laughs> this is right side up. Um, anyway, the cover is like the original, so it doesn't indicate the third LP. The third LP has demos and bonus stuff. But I kind of want to show that more to, to talk about that. In fact, that does sound really good. Um, the ones that I need, I'm definitely going to pick up. This is the next one. This is their third LP released in 1994, Mars Audiac Quintet. This one is a lot more, uh, has a lot more pop influences. It's much more accessible than Transient Random Noise Burst. And it's the same kind of deal here, except this one is not uh, on the cool dude clear vinyl. This is on the elusive black vinyl. This one, also, triple LP, also the same deal. It doesn't have the scratch card because it's not the clear vinyl, but it has a poster. The poster is just this kind of blown up, bigger. Same with the um, other one. Yeah. It's a very good record. Both of these are very good. This one is, is probably, would be a, decent entry point, somebody that's not familiar. All right, so Anonymous, I've, I've covered the names to protect the innocent. So this individual that sent this to me, they told me that they had received a gift that they had already had, so they wanted to pass it along to me. This is more than one record, clearly. Um, they did say they did not want to be associated with this, in their words, this dumpster fire of a channel, which is understandable. It's completely understandable. Um, they even asked that I not disclose their species, or even if they are male or female, human, or even, you know, human or marsupial or anything else, you know, because if I say a marsupial sent this to me, you know, you can narrow it down. There's only five to 10 channels on the VC that uh, have marsupials. So this individual, I, I, am, I am almost, I am trying to prevent myself from giving anything away. Um, this individual, wanted the least amount of information possible about them made available to you. And they also requested that I open this in a video and that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> and I think they, and you know, I think they did it because they know this is, you know, this is, this is the train wreck that we're dealing with. So anyway, again, this is it. I haven't opened it. I'm opening it with this. I think yeah so I don't know what it is except I can already tell it's it's multiple records so they went above and beyond this says note on the other side I suspect that Someone who wants to be anonymous would prefer that I not read their note. 
to you. So this the first one is it's super chunk AF. Okay, so it's so Merge Records. This is Super Chunks label. They it's their thirtieth anniversary. They did a subscription subscription thing for the year where you get I don't know periodically. I don't know how frequently. I thought about doing it. You would get records and other you know whatever swag of whatever kind. This is called Super Chunk AF. Which is apparent, okay, it's Acoustic Foolish. So it's the album, what year was that? The 93 or 94 or something? I'm thinking 93, their album Foolish came out. And so I take it, I don't know, but I take it this is just, they just re-recorded it, an acoustic version of it. Yeah, and I take it also that since it's this subscription service that this is not easy to get unless you're part of that. So that's pretty awesome. And I'm a big Super Chunk fan and I love this album. So I'm interested to check that out. Thank you, um, anonymous individual. So this is something I've only sampled online. I think you would call this indie pop or maybe even twee pop, indie pop. It's called, or the artist is Aloe Darlin, right? Yeah. We come from the same place as the name of the album. This is from 2014 on Slumberland Records. This is something that I probably will like. I liked the little bit that I've listened to, and now I'll get to properly listen to it. I don't know if this individual sent me their personal copy as it's open. Maybe they don't care for it. So this, this is something that's actually kind of like, I, I'm somewhat surprised I don't have this. This is from Australia, somewhere in Australia, Rolling Blackouts, Coastal Fever, Hope Downs on Sub Pop. This is from last year, 2018. Uh, you might have heard this song, Talking Straight. I think this is their first album. They have EPs, I've seen. Anyway, this is cool. Again, something that I would probably, at some point would have gotten one way or the other. You know who's shown this is um, Bobby at the channel Liner Notes. He showed this not too long ago. Time is escaping me. Maybe in the last, with some time in the last couple, few months. Anyway, Rolling Blackouts CF, or Coastal Fever. Rolling Blackouts Coastal Fever. Hope Downs. So that's pretty cool. And that brings us to the last item. The Leading Rainbow Interrupt. It's like 2014 K9 records. This I don't know very much about. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Bleeding Rainbow. The album's called Interrupt.
I look forward to checking it out. So that was pretty awesome. I'd like to um, thank the anonymous individual for sending me that stuff. Uh, I would not like to thank them for having me um, open, you know, forcing me to open it on camera. It's fine, but I usually like to have listened to stuff before I show it. But maybe I'll show this stuff again another time. That's all. Uh, that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully, I'll be back with a somewhat traditional train wreck video in the not too distant future. Thanks for stopping out. Appreciate it. Um, take care. Talk to you later.